Praise the Lord. Bana Are we sikire. together? Now we want to bring in the second speaker for this day. Tunalenda abnenaji wetu wa pili siku ya leo. Yes, none other than our father here. Naye ni baba yetu hapa. The presbyter Kirago. Mzee mkuu Isaac Kirago of Nairobi District 6. Can you District give the Lord a big hand clap as he comes? Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Banasifiwe. Praise the Lord. Banasifiwe. As you have heard, my name is Isaac Kirago. I Kama love the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal savior. Kama vile mmesikia jina langu ni Isaac Kirago na nampenda Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu. And I'm glad that we are here. Na nafurahia kwamba tupo hapa. Hallelujah. Banasifiwe. Let, let's go to the theme of, of the move on. Lakini twende kwenye maudhui ya ya, ya mwondoko huu. Based on Zechariah 4 verse 6. Katika kitabu cha Zechariah 4 6. Not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the Lord of hosts. Sio kwa nguvu wala kwa uweza bali kwa roho wangu asema Bwana wa majeshi. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. We have had a foundation laid for us in the last few days. And I will build on that. Yani kuna msingi uliowekwa na siku chache zilizo pita na mimi nitaendelea juu naye. The scripture is about the temple of God that was in ruins and is talking about the rebuilding of the temple and there are obs, obs, there are, there are obstacles. Yani uh, andiko ni kwamba ni hekaru ambayo ilikuwa ni magofu na sasa ilikuwa imeanza kujagwa lakini kukawa na, vis, na vipingamizi. And so the Lord is speaking to Zerubbabel and he's telling Zerubbabel it's not by might it's not by power but my by, but by my spirit lakini sasa hapa ni Mungu anaongea na Zerubbabel na kumwambia kwamba sio kwa nguvu wala uweza bali ni kwa ni kwa roho yangu so i want to put emphasis on the holy spirit kwa hivyo sasa nataka kuweka zigatio kwa roho mtakatifu and the great things that the holy spirit is 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 is, bound, is supposed to do in our lives na mambo makuu roho mtakatifu anastahili kutenda katika maisha yetu and it's a journey i'll take you through my own journey so that you can understand where i'm coming from yani ni, ni safari na mimi nitakupeleka katika safari yangu ili ujue ni wapi nimetoka if you want to know a person find out where that person is coming from I was in Houston some years back and I was supposed to speak in a church and pray with the people to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So I was preparing for that occasion when I would pray with the people to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And I want us to look at the book of Acts chapter, chapter 5 verse 19. So that I can bring forth what I So that I can bring forth what I want to say. And it's just an introduction. The book of Acts chapter 5 verse 19. And it's just an introduction. Let me read. Uh, but at night, an angel of the Lord opened the, do the prison doors and brought them out and said, Go, stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of this life. Yani kuminatisa inasema lakini maraika wabwana akafungue milango ya geleza usiku akawatoa kasema enendeni mkas... Eh, mkasemane he, eh, mkasemane hekaruni mkawambie watu maneno yote ya uzima huu this is talking about apostles who are in prison and the angel of the lord came and opened their doors and gave them a command yani hii inaongea kuhusu mitume ambao walikuwa wamefungwa na malaika wa bwana akaja akawafungulia mlango na akawaagiza go to the temple and speak all the words of this life Yani akawambia ndeni hekaruni mwende mkaongee yote ambayo ni ya, ya, ni ya uzima huu. Some years back the Lord spoke to me and said write a book entitled This Life. Yani miaka mishashe iliyopita Mungu alinipa aliniagiza kwamba niandike kitabu kinaisho maisha haya. 
I did not even know that I would define that those words this life in the scriptures. Na sikufahamu kwamba sikujua kwamba ninaweza kupata neno kama hilo katika Biblia. But I decided in my heart to obey the, the Lord. Lakini nikaamua katika moyo wako wangu kutii Bwana. And I trusted the Lord to, to write uh, that uh, to, to be able to write the book. Na nikamwamini Bwana kwamba nilitaliandika hiki. In the process of writing that book I discovered that this this was are there this life lakini katika mchakato wa kuandika kitabu kile nikapata kwamba haya maandiko yapo katika Biblia. And the scripture I've just read the, 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 the Bible I've read is New King James. Na Biblia bado nimesoma ni King James mpya. But when I was preparing to, pray, to, to preach and pray with the people to be filled in the Holy Spirit in US, lakini wakati nilikuwa najiandaa kuomba na watu ili wajasa na mtakatifu kule USA America, I made reference to uh, an NIV version yeah. of it. Yaani rejea rangu ilikuwa ni katika katika andiko la um, NIV. NIV says go stand in the temple the temple courts and tell the people the full message of this new life. Yaani ni kwamba andiko hiyo katika NIV inasema kwamba enda katika temple. Uh, katika hekaru ukawaambie watu kuhusu maisha ya ma, uzima huu mpya. Yeah, this new life. Uzima huu mpya. Then it is struck me. Na sasa ikaniguza mimi. What is new? Mpya ni nini? What is new? Mpya ni nini? So I started reading the, the the book of Acts from chapter 5. I'm reading backwards to discover what is new. Sasa nikaanza kurudi nyuma kutoka 19 hiyo kuona hiki kipya ni ni nini? So what I discovered is that these people that were filled with the Holy Spirit were moving with the signs and wonders. That's what is new. Nikagundua ya kwamba hao watu waliokuwa wamejazwa na mtakatifu walikuwa na tembea na ishara na miujiza. From that moment my, my, my life changed. Kutoka wakati huo maisha yangu yakabadilika. I discovered that you must always discover the new things because our God is a God of new things. And I want to believe the Lord. Yes, we were satisfied with Nyao Stadium for yesterday, but the Lord brought us here so that we can see new things. Yaani ndio ni kwamba tulikuwa tumeridhika na kule Nyao Stadium lakini Mungu alituleta hapa ili sasa tuone mambo mapya hapa. So that we shall not be a people that are stagnating. Yaani tusio watu ambao waliotwama. A people that are moving forward. Tuwe watu ambao wanaenda mbele. A people that are discovering God from different perspectives. Yaani watu ambao wanamfungua Mungu katika maeneo tofauti angles. Na katika Praise the Lord. And I have desired in my heart that I will never be satisfied with what God can do. So whatever the Lord tells me, I believe it. Just like Mary said, whatever he tells you, do it. Yaani kama vile Maria alisema, Mariamu alisema kwamba chochote atakachowaambia, tendeni. I'm glad that you are here to hear the message for today. You would not have heard it yesterday because it was not being spoken yesterday. But you took trouble to come. Lakini ulichukua shida yani ulipata shida kuja. The new word the Lord is speaking to you today. Ulipata shida kuja hapa ili uweze kuelewa neno hili jipya ambalo tunaona leo. So then where am I coming from? Kwa hivyo sasa mimi nakuja kutoka wapi? And it's about the spirit of God. We are discovering this we are we are talking about the spirit of God. Ni kuhusu roho wa Mungu tunaongea kuhusu roho wa Mungu. In those early days and presbyter Olo mentioned how it was during East African revival. Yaani katika zamani zile ambazo mwalimu zemo Damizi Olo alikuwa anasema kuhusu uamshi wa Afrika Mashariki. I got saved when I was 12 years. At a time when the Spirit of God was moving in the way of East African revival. 
nyakati zile roho mungu alikuwa anatembea katika uamcho wa Afrika Mashariki so i was introduced to the lord jesus christ and i believed the word and i allowed jesus christ to come into my heart kwa hivyo nitaburishwa kwa neno la mungu na nikamwamini yesu kristo na neno la mungu likaja ndani yangu the spirit of god was moving during those days in a mighty way nobody told me about baptism of the holy spirit hata kama roho mungu alikuwa anatembea katika siku hizo kwa njia kuu hakuna mtu aliyeniambia kuhusu ujazo wa roho mtakatifu So I just love the Lord. Kwa hivyo mimi nilimpenda Bwana tu. And my father had uh, died one year after after I was I got saved. Na baba akafa mwaka mmoja baada mimi kuokoka. My father loved me so much. Baba yangu alikuwa ananipenda sana. And when I was introduced to the Lord Jesus Christ, na nilipotaburishwa kwa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, and through the scriptures, na, I, I knew my father in heaven loves me too. Yaani nika ya, na kupitia maandiko nikamfahamu baba yangu wa mbinguni. So having lost my father, my natural father, kwa hivyo hata kama nilikuwa nimempoteza baba yangu and believing Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ and what he had to say concerning his father who na, is my father, na kumwamini Yesu Kristo ambaye alikuwa anaongea kuhusu baba yake ambaye ni baba yangu pia, I believed that I could make it in life. Nikajua kwamba mimi lazima nitafaulu katika maisha. But the environment in which we were when my father died it was nil cash. No. Yaani katika mazingira ambayo nilikuwa wakati ule kulikuwa hamna chochote. My mother could not be employed. Yaani baba yangu hageweza. And there was no business. Na kukuwa hakukuwa na biashara. So I had to depend on myself. I was only 13 when my father died. Yaani nilikuwa miaka 13 wakati baba yangu alikufa na kwa hivyo nilikuwa najitegemea mwenyewe. But This father I was introduced to I believed Jesus because I believe I believed him His word Kwa hivyo baba huyu ambaye nilitambulishwa kwake sasa ni mimi nilimwamini Yesu Kristo So I held on him my father in heaven Kwa hivyo nikamshikilia huyu baba yetu baba yangu wa mbinguni And I was able to work in, in between classes to pay my school fees from study 5 up to study 8 Yaani nilipita katika migogoro ya ya kujilipia kare ya shule kutoka darasa la 5 hadi darasa la 8 form 1 up to form 4 kutoka kidato cha kwanza hadi cha 4 form 5 up to form 6 kidato cha 5 hadi cha 6 i was clinging on the on my father in heaven mimi nilikuwa nimeninginia kwa baba yangu aliye mbinguni and i did all sorts of things na nilifanya vitu vyote ambavyo vifanya i cultivated land for people for money nilikuwa nina kwenda kibarua kwa sababu ya pesa i fetched water for people nilikuwa nashotea watu maji i cooked for people even Nik, teachers nikawapikia watu hata walimu wangu i have i, I have been a matato tout nimekuwa ka mmoja wapo wa, wa makanga i have slept in a police cell nimelala katika cell za polisi i have carried dead bodies nimebeba miri hiyo kufa just for survival hili ni ni, ni ishi. I don't want to say too much about myself. Sitaki niongee sana kuhusu maisha yangu. I want you to know where I'm coming from. Nataka ujue mahali nimetoka mimi. And we are talking about the Holy Spirit. Na tunaongea kuhusu Roho Mtakatifu. All this time nobody told me about the Holy Spirit. Yaani wakati wote huu hakuna mtu aliyeniambia kuhusu Roho Mtakatifu. For that two years nobody told me about baptism of the Holy Spirit. Kwa miaka 32 hakuna aliyeniambia kuhusu baptizo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Yaani muda mrefu. In this in the meantime in my salvation I, yani, I faced challenges. Yaani katika wakati mmoja katika maisha yangu mimi nilikuwa naona changamoto. I needed the Holy Spirit for revelation. Nilikuwa nahitaji Roho Mtakatifu kwa ufunuo. I needed the Holy Spirit to guide me Nili, into the truth. Nilihitaji Roho Mtakatifu ili aniongoze katika kweli. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, during that time, I was a Christian. Kwa hivyo wakati ule bado mimi nilikuwa mkristo. I had challenges in my body. Nilikuwa na changamoto katika mwili wangu. Backache in my 40s. Now I'm 78. Yaani mgongo ulikuwa nauma wakati huo nilikuwa na miaka 40, nilikuwa na miaka 78. In my 40s I was going Yaani katika miaka yangu 40 mimi nilikuwa na, na kungua. My legs were smelling. My legs, my feet. Yaani miguu yangu ilikuwa nauma. E, nanuka, sorry. My face would peel every time I would be in the sun. Na nilikuwa nachumbuka ngozi kwenye uso wangu. I was rubbing my eyes like a little baby. Yaani nilikuwa na, na sugua sugua macho yangu kama mtoto mdogo. I could hardly write. 
plus many other conditions. But in the process of all that, God brought other people in my life to talk about signs and wonders and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I listened because I was listening of messages and God will always bring people in your life for your blessings. We are in a body situation. So I listened the issues to do with the baptism of the Holy Spirit and walking in signs and wonders. And I believed that I could not do any, very much without the Holy Spirit. At that time I was overseas. Then the, the inside I was, I was yearning to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I was even shedding tears. And so I went to my pastor. I was in Europe. I went to my pastor and I'm shedding tears. My nose is even running because it was winter. And I'm telling my pastor I need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And the pastor is saying, yeah. 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 I could see he was not excited. So it was a total frustration. It was not until I came back to Kenya. And then Apostle Das happened to be in our house. And then I expressed the same thing. I need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And Apostle laid hands on me. I was filled with the Holy Spirit. That was the beginning of chapter 2. Hallelujah. I'm still talking about the Holy Spirit. It's not by might, it's not by power, it's by my spirit, says the Lord. But it's important to know our foundations. And I said the foundation for this meeting has been laid. So we, are build, we are building on what has already been laid. We are not going to the right or to the left. But we are building on what has been laid. So don't, don't forget what we have been taught this far. But we want to come to where we are saying this temple, this temple. This is the temple of God. The Holy Spirit dwells in us. So if there are issues in the temple of God, then you will not go very far. And the Lord is still saying the same thing concerning this temple. It's not by might, it's not by power, it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the year I was filled with the Holy Spirit, things started happening. I was on fire in my own way. With all those conditions that I have said, one day I had a neck ache. Serious neck ache. And with that anointing, little as it may appear to you, and having believed God, I decided to lay my hand upon my neck and I told God I will not let you go until you heal me. I was in bed. So I kept on telling God I didn't know even how to pray that much prayer. But I, I was telling God, I believe you that you are my healer and I will, let, I will not let you go until you heal me. So, so I persisted. Then all of a sudden, God healed me completely. I had to wake up my wife. 
Telling my wife, he has healed me, he has healed me. I didn't, I, I didn't think she got the excitement I had. But the excitement it was not so much about healing. It was about this God. The God is about this God who heals. And I have called upon him. And he, heal, he has healed me immediately. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But I like responding to the person I love when he speaks. My response at that time, I told God, from today, I shall never ask you for a miracle on the spot. Because I believe you so much, I don't care when you fulfill it. Hallelujah. It looks a bit odd, but I felt that my faith is inside and I, I now know my God. I don't care when he heals, that is his business. Because all I need is to present my needs to him and I know he will still fulfill them. And out of that, I have seen God heal many people, not just me. He healed me because at age 78, I can do anything. Yani ni kwamba, Praise the Lord. Healed he healed me all those conditions. By what means? By revelation by the Holy Spirit. Every, every condition that was prevailing are all gone plus others which may not have manifested. Because of believing. And I want you today to believe this word. That it's not by power, it's, it's not by might, it's not by power, it's by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Yesterday I had a call after the meeting. I, I, sat, I sat with that girl, she's a 29-year-old girl. She had attempted suicide. We sat last week. And I'm bringing this to bring back the issue of repentance and confession. So, her father is a step a stepfather, so she was born through a biological father was a different man. And she found herself in a family where the mother did not love her because she tells me she came by mistake. She was a mistake when she came. The, the stepfather does not love her either. And the biological father told her that she was a mistake. So I sat with her. We shall not go into a lot of details, but I, I just want to explain the revelation part, part of this issue. So, she hated them and she became lonely because she was bitter and she had a lot of hatred in her heart. So, nothing, nothing was working in her life. She got married, she got a child. Then the, the husband died. And the in-laws took the, the child from her. She got another friend to work with. And they are heading for marriage. 
Only to discover that this young man has another woman and he tells her straight, I have another one. In the meantime, she, 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 she had a miscarriage. That's why she was committing suicide. So we sat next last week. Yesterday she called me. She said, I am healed, I feel great, and she got saved when we sat last week. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. The point I want to bring here, how, how was she healed? Within a few days. I told her, repent of the things you have done. And go to your stepfather, go to your biological father, go to your mother, and confess to them your hatred and bitterness. I'm just want to, uh, to, to stress the issue of bitterness, the issue of hatred. We don't think we have them, but we have them. That's why we shall be in a lot of trouble. Praise the Lord. So after I was introduced to the Lord Jesus Christ, and uh, he introduced me to his father, and I loved his father, and I saw great things. Now walking with Jesus, he spoke through the word, his, his word, through the Bible. Many things. And I believed him. I believed Jesus for what he said concerning the Holy Spirit. And Jesus being my friend, now he, introduce, he introduces me to the Holy Spirit who is now my friend, now in the world. Because the Holy Spirit is the one with us here. Jesus is on the right hand of the Father interceding for us that we may make it. The Holy Spirit is the one with us here. He is the master on duty. Ignore the master on duty. Tell me where you are going. So I believed every word that Jesus said concerning the Holy Spirit. And Jesus said, it is for your benefit, for your advantage, that I go so that I go away so that the Holy Spirit can come. And when he comes, he will teach you all things. And he will show you, he will guide you into the truth. In the meantime, Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you and he said he will bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you and I believed every word that the Lord spoke concerning the Holy Spirit if you have a friend you should be concerned about what your friend is saying. The word that your friend says should be of concern to you. If Jesus is your friend, because he has saved us, so he's our friend, then you should cherish every word he says concerning the Holy Spirit. And this meeting is not enough, the time is not enough to cover enough of the ground. I'm skimming through. Jesus also said, that is John 15:26, he will testify of me. He will be a witness for me to the Father. Now, 
So he does not talk about himself. He hivyo, talks about Jesus. Kwa hivyo Roho Mtakatifu haongai kuhusu yeye mwenyewe, anaongea kuhusu Yesu. And Jesus talked about his father. Na Yesu alikuwa anaongea kuhusu baba yake. Then the Holy Spirit talks about Jesus. Na Roho Mtakatifu anaongea kuhusu Yesu. I don't know about you whom you are to, uh, what you are saying and where you are your position. Mimi sijui wewe upo wapi. But I want to believe every word that Jesus nini. said. Lakini nataka kuamini lolote Yesu alisema. He also said in John chapter 16 verses 14 to 15. Na Yesu akasema katika Yohana 16:14 na 15. He will glorify me for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. Yaani yeye atanitukusa kwa sababu atachukua kile kilicho changu na awambie ninyi. Then verse 15 says all things that the father has are mine therefore i said that he will take of mine and declare it to you vyote vilivyo vilivyo na baba ni vyangu na ndio sababu nimesema yeo chochote yani chote ambacho atachukua awaambie nyinyi i'm talking about the holy spirit mimi naongea kuhusu roho mtakatifu and jesus is saying na yesu anasema he is the executor of my will the yes. holy spirit is the one to declare what i have from my father yani yesu anasema roho mtakatifu ndiye anatimiza kile ambacho ninataka kitendwe and he is explaining everything that the father has are mine na anaeleza kwamba chochote kilicho cha baba ni changu but the one declaring what is yours is the holy spirit to make the declaration Yaani kusema kile ambacho ni chako Roho Mtakatifu ndio atatamka. I said my father died when I was small he left a bicycle and 600 shillings. Yaani baba yangu nilisema kwamba alikufa nikiwa mdogo na kaniachia baisikeli na shilingi 600. And we were many children. Na tulikuwa watoto wengi. And I'm st- I was still growing in my Christianity. Na bado nilikuwa nakuwa katika ukristo wangu. I was still growing. Nilikuwa nakuwa. Along the way because of the way God dealt with my heart I became friends everywhere. Yaani uh, katika uh, katika kutembea kwangu sababu uh, mtakatifu alikuwa ananiita nikakawa na marafiki wengi and i would introduce jesus to to people na nikaanza kuwahubiria watu yesu so i introduced jesus to the person uh, from whom i took up the job he was a foreigner yaani nikamhubiria yule mtu ambaye ni alinipa kazi ambaye alikuwa sasa ni mgeni and eventually he retired i took his job na wakati alio alistafu ali, ali nikachukua uh, nikachukua kazi yake then many years later i was i got a call from a lawyer saying do you know that do you know so and so do you know that he has died i said no i didn't know that he, de- he died nika uh, nika nikachukua uh, simu siku moja kutoka kwa mawakili akiniambia kwamba unajua fulani alikufa nikamwambia hapana baba akaniambia aliaga so he he said the lawyer said he left 5000 british pound for you in his will alikuachia pauni haleluya alikuachia pauni 1500 katika katika will yake so i have inherited because my father in heaven has to work through somebody yani kwa hivyo sasa mimi nikaridhi kwa sababu baba yangu ni lazima ni angemtumia mtu haleluya Hallelujah. But that happened when I introduced this man to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lakini hiyo ilionekana wakati mimi nimtabrisha huyu ndugu kwa baba yangu. God my father in heaven commanded him to put me in the will. Yaani sasa baba yangu wa mbinguni akaniambia aniwekwe kwenye will yake. So I don't praise that man, I praise my father. Kwa hivyo sasa in heaven. Simsifu huyu mtu na msifu baba yangu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. everything that in the world that is in the world that is in heaven belongs to our god yani chochote kilicho mbinguni na kilicho hapa nchini ni cha mungu and jesus claims all these things himself that belong to his father na yesu naye anazidai hizi vitu vyote vinatoka kwa baba and he says the holy spirit will declare what is mine to you na Roho Mtakatifu atawatamka kile kilicho changu kwenu. These are very simple scriptures, but if you believe that, then you can see you cannot be lonely, you cannot be without power. Yaani unaona kwamba ukiamini hilo hutakuwa mpweke, hutakuwa mtu ambaye hana nguvu. Because of believing, sababu ya kuamini tu. 
And I realized that the Holy Spirit, if you have to walk with him, submission, humility, obedience, if you don't have those ones, your walk will be very flimsy. You'll be looking for him and shouting and calling him and he's not coming. Lakini nataka kuambia kwamba ukitembea na huyu na huna unyenyekevu na 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 kutii hata upige kelele namna gani hutamuona. We are learning all the time. Sisi tuna tuna tunasoma wakati wote. If you think you have arrived that there's nothing else you can learn from anybody you have made a big serious mistake. Yaani kama unafikiri kwamba sasa umefika na huwezi kujifunza kutoka kwa mwingine umefanya makosa moja kubwa sana. We need the teaching and the guidance of the Holy Spirit into all truth. Yaani tunahitaji mafundisho na kuelekezwa na mtakatifu katika kweli zote. It is by knowing the truth that you you find your your freedom. Ni kwa kufahamu kweli tutakuwa kufanya upate uhuru wako. In the book of Acts 1:8 uh, the Bible says but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Katika kitabu cha Matendo 1:8 kinasema kwamba mta mtapata nguvu roho mtakatifu atakapoajiria juu yenu na mimi mtakuwa mashahidi wangu katika Yerusalem, Judea, Samaria na misho ya dunia. Many of us are still waiting in Jerusalem for for the Holy Spirit and for power. When you wait to anaka Jerusalem pare wa kisubiria rom mene rom rom takatifu ajiri. You you may not have known, but I had requested that I be given a tent in Yao Stadium so that I can pray with those that need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Lakini wewe ujui kwamba nilikuwa nimeomba hema kule Nyao Stadium ili niombe na wale wanataka kujaza na Roho Mtakatifu. Because I stayed in Jerusalem for 32 years. I lost my ministry time. Yaani ni kwamba mimi nilikaa Yerusalemu kwa miaka 32. It is very expensive to be in Jerusalem for so long. Ni gharama sana kukaa Yerusalemu because this temple will be messed up, it will be in wreck and you will not be able to perform. Yaani ni kwamba hii sasa Ah hii kare itakuwa imeharibiwa sana. And then you be afraid and you cannot do anything. Na ulikuwa unaogopa sana na hutafanya chochote. But we thank God for everything. Lakini tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu kwa kila kitu. That issue of baptism with the Holy Spirit. Yaani aswara hilo la ujazo wa mtakatifu. For me it's revelation through and through. Yaani kwa wangu mimi ni ufunuo I ride on revelation, I walk in it, I swim in it. Yaani mimi natembea katika ufunuo na ninaogelea kwayo. I always believe new things. God has always new things for me. Yaani mimi huwa mimi naamini vitu vipya, Mungu ana vitu vipya kwangu. Let me, let me first of all go back to Houston where I was to preach and and pray for people to be filled with the holy spirit. Wacha nirudi Houston mahali nilikuwa nataka na istahili and nilikuwa nahitajika niombe watu na nihubiri. I preached and I prayed with the multitude to be filled with the Holy Spirit. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Yaani nilihubiri na nikaomba na watu wakajazwa wote. But the pastor's wife had decided to be filled for 26 years. Lakini sasa she had not been filled. Lakini mama mchungaji sasa alikuwa ana anatamani sana kujazwa na mtakatifu kwa miaka 26 alikuwa hajajazwa so we did not expose her to the public we went home with the pastor and his wife and we prayed with her she did not take five minutes to be filled with the holy spirit yani hatukumweka hadharani lakini sasa alipoenda nyumbani tulia tukaomba naye hakuchukua dakika tano kujazwa na mtakatifu where is it coming from always think where is it where are you coming from where is that coming from hiyo inakuja kutoka wapi the year 2011 katika mwaka wa 2011 I was just in the house. Nilikuwa ndani ya nyumba tu. And the Lord spoke to me. Sorry. The Lord spoke to me. Na Roma Bwana akaongea na mimi. And he said you are not giving preeminence to the Holy Spirit. Yaani na maana wewe kwamba huumweki Roho Mtakatifu Roho Mtakatifu kipaumbele. I know he was talking about the church. Mimi najua alikuwa anaongea kuhusu unaongea kuhusu kanisa wakati. Even the Pentecostal churches we are not giving preeminence to the Holy Spirit. Hata katika makanisa ya kiroho hatuwapi hatumpi roho mtakatifu kipaumbele. We are waiting for people to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I took that two years. We should not wait so long. Atustahili kugojea watu wajaza roho mtakatifu. Mimi nilichukua miaka 32. So when he spoke to me I said 
Kwa hivyo wakati aliongana mimi nisema I say to myself Nikasema kwangu for him to speak to me even if he is speaking about the church hata kwangu mimi hata kama anaongea kuhusu kanisa there is a reason why he has spoken to me ni kwa kuna sababu ni kwa nini anaongea na mimi so immediately i told him yani muda tu nikamwambia as for me whoever comes to me and says i want to be filled with the holy spirit i will get time pray with him or her and and you god you shall you feel him yeyote atakaye kuja kwangu aseme kwa mimi nataka kujaza kama mtakatifu mimi taomba na yeye lakini wewe mungu utamjaza and i meant i meant business with god na nika 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 nikasema kabisa na mungu always look for where do i fit in in what god is saying Yaani mimi huenda gari natazama ni wapi nitaingilia kwa kile Mungu anatenda. When I did that, when I said that, so hivyo, I have a covenant with God. Niko na agano na Mungu. Whoever tells me I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, I will respond, pray with him or her to be filled with the Holy Spirit, but I don't feel he feels. Yaani mimi mtu yote atakaye kuja kwangu kwamba nimwombe, mimi nitamwombea. Was eh ni sisi lakini ana his. So from 2011 kwa hivyo I toka, have prayed with many people individuals groups and churches. Yaani nimeomba na watu wengi mtu binafsi vikundi na hata makanisa. And if you invite me to your church I, I will preach in your church but I will need that minutes or one hour after the after the, the service so that I can pray with your members that need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Mimi ukinialika kwangu Haleluya. Mimi ukinialika kwangu mimi nita nita nitakuja kwako nitahubiri lakini nitakuomba unipe dakika 30 au saa moja kuomba na washirika wako kuhusu roho mtakatifu don't, don't take me for entertainment with the tea and bread and people are waiting to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Usinipeleke kuniburudisha na chai na mkate na watu pale wanasubiria wajasa na mtakatifu. Presbyter Mugala took me to Southern Sudan, Juba. Yaani presbyter Mgara nipeleka kule South Sudan Jumba and these people were hungering for the Holy Spirit. Na watu walikuwa na jaa ya Roho Mtakatifu. They were thirsting. Yaani walikuwa na tamani. They had traveled long distances. Yaani wametoka walikuwa wametoka kutoka mbali. One man had uh, had a motorbike, he had his wife and a baby, a, small, a young child. Moja alikuwa na na, na pikipiki na alikuwa na mtoto na mama. And they traveled on on, on rough roads for two days nas alitembea katika barabara ambayo ilikuwa haina rami kwa uh, kwa siku mbili so by the time they arrived the, the, the wife was crying because of exhaustion yani wakati wao walifika waliwasili pale sasa mke alikuwa analia kwa sababu ameshoka and when it was time to be prayed for to be filled with the holy spirit na wakati yeye sasa alifika kumwombea roho mtakatifu the brethren were all filled with the holy spirit some were rolling down wote wali yani ndugu zangu wote wali jasa na mtakatifu wote wengine walikuwa naanguka shida and one person who did not know english started speaking english yani na mmoja ambaye alikuwa hajui kiingereza akaongea kiingereza and they were so drunk like the, the, on the day of pentecost yani walikuwa na 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 na, na, na. <laughs> kama wakati wa roho mtakatifu so they started straying out of the building and the, 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 the church was in a, a, a village type of environment or an estate sasa wakaanza kutembea huko na walikuwa katika eneo ilikuwa na watu wengi they were enjoying the holy ghost wao walikuwa na furahia so they were straying outside the building so sasa wakaanza kutoka nje kule so people started surrounding to see these people who look drunk in church yani watu wakaja kuona hao watu ambao wamerewa wa then we had to get them back and we locked them inside to enjoy the, the holy ghost so sasa tukawarudisha ndani ili sasa wafurahie roho mtakatifu sometime back i had a girl yani wakati fulani nilikuwa na she came alone alikuja mwenyewe to be filled with the holy spirit ajaza na mtakatifu i prayed with her she was filled with the holy spirit yani nikamwomba nikaomba naye akaendelea kuongea and she remained in the presence of god speaking in, in the spirit for about 3 hours na kadumu katika ujazo wa roho mtakatifu kwa miaka kwa miezi mingi kwa masaa matatu that place she joined her mother wakati aliacha kuomba akajiunga na baba yake they were going to kenyatta hospital to pick their uh, her grand, grand, grandmother sasa walikuwa na ndo hospitali sasa wamchukue sasa bibi yao so they parked the car where the ambulances are parked na sasa wakaweka gari mahali uh, gari hizi za kubeba ngoja when, when they got out of the car the doors locked and the engine was still on 
Yaani sasa walipotoka sasa milango ikafungwa. And the windows were closed. Na milango ilikuwa na, 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 na madirisha alikuwa yamefungwa. Now mefungwa. they don't know how to open this car. Na hawajui jinsi ya kutoa uh, kutoa kwa hiyo gari. And they are being harassed by the, the guards because they are parking in the wrong place. Yaani na sasa wao walikuwa na nyanyaso na sasa wale walinzi pale kwa sababu walikuwa wamepaka. This car who was filled with the Holy Spirit using the same anointing she had. Yaani huyu dada ambaye alikuwa mtoto ambaye alikuwa amejaza na mtakatifu akasikia. She said God I'm At- going to try open this door seven times and the seventh time the door must open. Yaani nikaka akamwambia Mungu mimi nitajaribu kufungua mlango huu kwa mara saba na mara ya saba anasema mlango ufunguke. She started one kwa hiyo akaanza moja, 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 7 the car opened. Yaani saba mlango ukafunguka. Hallelujah. 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 You know we are waiting for revival and revival is here. Yaani unajua tunasubiria ati waamsho na waamsho hapa. We are waiting for revival and revival is here. Tunasubiria waamsho na waamsho hapa. We have revival. Tuna waamsho. Let's listen to the direction of the holy spirit washa tu tusikilize mwongozo wa roho mtakatifu let us respond to what the lord is saying without saying we know washa tuanze kutendea kila bwana anasema bila kusema kwamba ati tunajua the moment you say you know you yani put a barrier pude tutakasema kwamba unajua that's a mountain you have put before you yani huo ni mlima umejenga mbele yako no we don't know we are not able Yaani utasema mimi sijui hatuwezi. But with God we can do all things. Yaani lakini katika Bwana naweza kutenda mambo yote. Matthew 19:26. Yaani Matthew with God all things are possible. Yaani mambo yote yanawezekana. So we believe God for his word. Kwa hiyo tunamwamini Mungu kwa neno lake. We do not know the how part of it. Hatujui ni jinsi gani. We have no experience of some of the things. Hatuna tajriba ile. But we believe God for what he has said. Lakini tunamwamini Mungu kwa kile amesema. And he has said he will give us revival. Na amesema atatupa uamcho. And if that revival does not start in the temple here, na kama uamcho utaanza hapa Hekaroni, where is it supposed to start? Itaanziwa wapi? We must be able to see God here. Tunastahili kumuona Mungu hapa. We must remove all the mountains that hinder God from moving here. Yaani lazima tuondoe milima yote ambayo inamzuia Mungu kuingia hapa. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So the Holy Spirit, the, the Holy Spirit once we are filled with the Holy Spirit we are supposed to be witnesses of our Lord Jesus Christ. Kwa hivyo tunapojaza na mtakatifu tunastahili kuwa mashahidi wa roho wa wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Exactly what the Holy Spirit does himself. Yaani vile vile tu roho mtakatifu anafanya yeye. He testifies concerning Jesus. Yeye ushuhudia kuhusu Yesu. So we do what he is doing. Tunajua kile anachoshinda. Jesus would say I do what I see my father do. Yesu alikuwa anasema mimi natenda kile ninaona baba yangu akitenda. And God has given us the Holy Spirit to to follow him and do what he's doing. Na Bwana ametupatia Roho Mtakatifu tutende kile anachotenda yeye. So we should be in agreement with the Holy Spirit. Kwa hivyo lazima tukubaliane na Roho Mtakatifu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. That's a good background for us. Sasa huo ni msingi mzuri kwetu. It's not by might is not by power it's Sio by kwa my holy spirit wala uweza ni kwa roho mtakatifu those who got filled in the upper room on the day of pentecost they were moving with signs and wonders we say that wale waliojaza na roho mtakatifu katika jumba la juu walitembea kwa nguvu na uwezo but when they were challenged they were able to say for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard Yaani wakati walipiwa wali, 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 walitiwa katika shangamoto walisema hivi kwamba siwezi kuongea kitu ambacho tunaongea tu kile ambacho tumesikia na kukiona. And I say the same thing. Na tutastahili tuseme jambo lile lile. Though our time may not be sufficient here. Hata kama muda wetu hautatosha hapa. I cannot but speak the things which I have seen and heard. Siwezi kosa kusema kile siwezi kusema jambo lingine isipokuwa kile nimekiona na kukisikia. During COVID I was speaking on radio and TV. Wakati wa COVID nilikuwa naongea naongea katika radio na TV. Then somebody in Kericho who was paralyzed the, the two legs were paralyzed. Na mtu mmoja alikuwa amepoza and he had lost his job na alikuwa amepoteza kazi yake. 
He had sold his land because of medical bills. His wife left him to die alone. He heard me speak on radio and TV. So he believed the word that I spoke. I don't know which word he picked, but he picked a word. So he believed that he can get help to get up from his bed. He took the trouble to look for my telephone number from the station where I was speaking. When eventually he called me, I listened to him. I listened to him where he's coming from. He came from an Islamic family. And when he got saved, he was thrown out of home. So although he made progress to get job, to get married, and they had a child, but now the thing, things are reversing. And through talking with him, I realized that he was very bitter and he hated his family members. I told him, do what you have to do. Go and confess your bitterness and hatred to your parents, to your siblings. And James 5.16. Confess your trespasses one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. Because this man believed from radio when now I was able to guide him and talk with him he believed me and he did his best to do exactly what I said within two weeks he was up and well hallelujah eventually he got a job he was given land by neighbors to cultivate and feed himself. His, his wife came back. Not because he was healed. The wife did not know that he had been filled. He had been healed. It is because it's not by might, it's not by power, it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we want to trust the Lord that when we hear the word, cherish it, hide it, follow it until you have full clarity. And remember the things I said, humility, submission, especially to leadership. Obedience to the word of God, obedience to the leaders, obedience to the people that God has put in your life. This issue of bitterness and hatred and anger is a killer disease for us as Christians. Her sister came to me, she was complaining about her husband being unfaithful and he was an elder. I, I told her, I do with the patient, the one who has come, now that your husband is away, let's see whether there is an issue which we need to address on your side. I asked her, do you manifest serious anger in your life? She said yes, and when I get very angry, uh, 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 very angry, I fall down. Pa! 
Yaani ni kweli kwa sababu hata wakati miko na hasira kubwa mimi huanguka chini poa. I told her sister in falling one has lost control. Yaani nikamwambia dada wakati unaanguka ni maana kwamba udhibiti unao. And you are, if you are falling down with a lot of power it means there is power inside of you throwing, throwing you down. Yaani anakana na kwa, uh, ukianguka kwa nguvu nyingi na maanisha una nguvu nyingi ndani yako ambazo zinakusababisha uanguke. So that power that power is it from the Holy Ghost? Kwa hivyo nikamwona yaani nguvu hiyo nguvu hiyo ni kutoka kwa Mungu takatifu. No 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 it's from where? Yaani ikasema hapana 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 ni kutoka kuzimu. It's from where? Yaani kutoka wapi? Nguvu hizo ni kutoka wapi? She said is is from the devil. Akasema ni kutoka kwa shetani. I told her sister you are saying the devil is in the temple of God. Yaani dad nikamuliza dada unataka kuniambia kwamba sasa shetani uh, yuko katika hekalu ya Bwana. And you are calling God to come to the same temple? Na unamuita ate Mungu aje katika hekalu ile ile. The devil is now reigning. Yaani huyu shetani sasa anatawara. Deal with that anger. Serious anger you lose control. Yaani hadi sasa ukikuwa na, na hasira ile unakosa udhibiti. Another one said that her mother was thrown out another woman was brought in by her father then her mother was built a house within one day the mud house and thatch grass the uh, grass thatched yani mwingine kaniambia mama yake alifurushwa nje na kuleta mwanamke mwingine akajengewa na kwa siku moja nyumba ya msonge in the meantime she told me she was complaining about the children in drugs na wakati ule sasa alikuwa analamika kuhusu watoto ambao walikuwa katika mihadarati me i wanted to know her marriage and her, her her family position so that i can explain why children are in drugs yani sasa mimi nilikuwa nataka nijue kuhusu familia yake na maisha yake ni ili niwaambie ni kwa nini watoto wapo katika mihadarati so she said my mother was thrown out of marriage uh, and a small house was built within one day na akaniambia kwamba mama yangu alivurushwa kutoka nyumba na nyumba ikajengwa na siku moja ya nyazi so she went with the mother as a small girl kwa hivyo sasa kaenda na mama yake kama mtoto binti mchana so she became a shepherd she was taking care of the cows yeye die sasa alikuwa anachunga ngombe she said one time one cow tried to 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 attack my mother i took a, 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 a sword and i cut it to the ground the whole of it Yaani siku moja kuna ngombe alikuwa anataka kumpiga mama yangu nikachukua upanga nikaikata ni yote she is explaining her childhood anger anaongea kuhusu hasira ya wakati wake then she said wake. another cow tried me na nika, akasema na ngombe ngine kanijaribu then i jumped on it i sat on the neck i held the horns and i chewed its ears until they were done <laughs> yani <laughs> Yaani mwingine naye kanijaribu kunipiga kuni nikaruka nikashikilia pembe zake nikaanza kutafuna masikio yake mpaka yote yakaisha That explains why children are in drugs. Yaani hiyo inaniambia kwa nini watoto wako wanakula mihadi. Got the telephone of his father and then talked to him on phone and apologized to him confessing his sins of bitterness and hatred and asked the father to forgive him. Sasa kaenda katafuta na baba yake sasa akakiri akakiri dhabi zake zote na baba na akaoba baba msamehe within two weeks he had two major contracts with that with that company he had formed baada ya wiki mbili akapata kadarasi na wale na ile kampuni alikuwa amefungua so he did not have depression depression went kwa hivyo sasa huzuni katoka he, he was no longer feeling suicidal yani hakuhisi kwamba anaweza kujua drugs were out of him yani akaasha mihadarati he was able to sleep and eat akawa na uwezo wa kulala na kula he did not feel rejected anymore hakuhisi kwamba amekataliwa tena he was not in pornography anymore hakwenda katika sasa zile picha za ushi tena you shall know the truth and the truth shall make Utajua you free kweli na kweli tawa haleluya haleluya praise the lord bwana asifiwe haleluya So I wanted to give that, that that testimony because it has many issues inside and we have I have very 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 many testimonies if you cannot believe what the Lord is saying in this multitude I am not sure what you will believe Yaani ni kwamba nilipenda ushuhuda wenda ushuhuda nyingi sana kama huwezi kuamini yani kile ambacho tumesema hapa sijui utaweza kuamini ni If all of us healed from the main ailments then revival will come so soon and so quickly 
Kama si zote tungeponya kutoka magonjwa ambayo tulionayo, uamsho ungekuja haraka sana. Let me assure you people are looking for God, but we are not showing them God. We are telling them stories. Yaani wacha niwaambie watu wanamtafuta Mungu lakini atuwabii kuhusu Mungu kila tulishonacho ni hadithi nyingi. Some are going to Loriando. Loriando. Eh? They used to go. Loriando. Loriando. Yeah, Loriando in Tanzania to drink I don't know what. <laughs> yani wengi walikuwa naenda Loriando kule Tanzania kunywa kikombe cha babu. These people are very innocent people they are looking for God. Yani hao watu wanatafuta Mungu hawa. Ne yani hawana hata. But we only talk about them we don't show them God. Sisi watu tunaongea kumhusu Mungu lakini hatumwaonyeshi Mungu. So we need revival and the revival is about the Holy Spirit. Na sasa tunahitaji uamsho na uamsho ni kuhusu Roho Mtakatifu. We take care of these children. Ili sasa chunga watoto hao. We show them the way. Tuwaonyeshe njia. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. It is not by might is not by power is by my spirit says the Lord. Father we thank you. Let's all start. Father we thank you. Let's all start. Father we thank you. We thank you for your word. Let's all stand and we we pray. Father we thank you for the life that is in your word. Your word is precious. Your word is precious Lord. We thank you. We thank you for speaking to us this day. Every one of us so Lord we pray that your word shall take root in our hearts and we shall be able to see the position of the Holy Spirit in our lives and we shall believe your word that it is not by might it is not by power but by your spirit says the Lord in Jesus name we pray Amen Amen Mama coffee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Amen. Tukufu. Amen. God bless amen, you. Amen. Amen. Bwana abariki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a big hand clap. Mimi ni jumbe kama hizo ambao zinafanya tunajawa na Roho Mtakatifu kwa sababu sio kwa nguvu ama kwa uweza lakini ni kwa Roho wa Mungu. Amen. Amen. Um, there's a song we want to sing but we are still looking it's like the choir does not know the song now. Kuna wimbo tulikuwa tuimbe lakini kwa sasa ni kama choir hawaelewi hiyo wimbo. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So um we will just sing it's not by might not by power amen as our young uh, uh, babies come in amen praise the lord kwa hivyo tuta tutaimba ile wimbo ya kwamba sio kwa nguvu ama kwa uweza tukigojea sunday school as the sunday school come in they are so beautiful you can give them a beautiful hand clap amen wakiingia tuwapigie makofi wamefanana vizuri we are also grateful that god has brought us in a bigger place in a better place it is like he is showing us there is some fruit of repentance and what we did yesterday. Today we are saying it is real both uh, because the Lord has enlarged our courts. Amen. Praise the Lord. And even those who there's plenty of room such that if you love sitting to the front then you still have a lot of front spaces that have not been occupied hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah amazing this beautiful now i want you to picture this because maybe after here we are going to have our own auditorium like this one hallelujah praise the lord Amen. for it's not by might nor by power but by the spirit of god hallelujah praise the lord and so god will enable us to do this. rebuild